169. What? This changes the entire video I'm making. First try. It worked. Insert dart. You gotta make sure it's in far enough. To see how the blowgun holds up to archery, let's have a quick competition. But before the competition, this is what you need to know about blowguns. I've taken a couple shots so far and what I found out is it goes pretty much straight down the barrel, but I was only at about three yards. So we're backing it up here to closer to 10. The interesting thing about this is it's literally the power of your lungs. Hi, this is Zach, Caz. Caleb with Shatterproof Archery. This is how you shoot a blowgun. So you want to take your dart, insert it just a little way past the mouth guard. On the mouth side. Which is this end, not this end, right? Click it in, let it fall back to where the mouthpiece is. But don't stick it in like this, because if you do, it's going to fall right through. Make sure it comes back. Oh yeah. You're going to take a deep breath from the diaphragm this lower part of your body. You're gonna hold it after you breathe in. Make it really big. And then let it out as fast as you can. Aim and fire. <laughs> At this point I'm shocked because Zach is shooting the blowgun over 200 feet per second. You ever use the blowgun? Uh, sort of. <laughs> Whoa! Where I maxed out at 112. That makes the biggest difference. Probably the power of the burst of your lungs, I guess. So there's a handle here. It's more comfortable for me to go like this, like I'm about to play pool or something. I can maybe move it. Yeah, you can move the handle. Oh yeah, curveball, baby. Comparing the blowgun to a bow so far, it's actually much easier to pick up and just to shoot. Well, it just is. Like there's little variables you just blow and it goes straight where you're looking. The problem is missing up and down. That's gonna be the problem more than side to side. Before we get into testing the speed of the blowgun, this is how the competition went. I used a blowgun, Zach, Kaz, and Caleb all shot bows. We played an elimination game where you can't hit specific targets. No top left, the target's still swinging. Until there's only one spot on the target that you can hit. <laughs> While we had a lot of fun, this game really is irrelevant for this video. It's true. It's stuck in the wood. If you want to know the results, Kaz won. Caleb got second, me and Zach tied for last place. Well, that sucks, I hate losing. But it's what happened right after that was shocking. <laughs> Kramer, pick nice up a grouping. Bow. Let's what? see what Zach can beat us. Okay, maybe I should go bow for Zach's blowgun. Holding back the breath and then releasing it quicker. Hmm. So like, that you don't sense. want slow volume, you want fast volume. So one of the big questions I have is, how fast is this going? And how durable is this blowgun? Let's shoot this through the chronograph and see. I'd like to remind you that this is not a toy, and in some cases, could be deadly. I mean, depends on what you're doing. Small game hunting? That could be fun. I heard a guy killed a bear with one. It comes in two 32 inch parts. There's a lot of threads to screw it together, equaling a total of 51 inches. It's got this infinite screwing capability. The nice thing about that is it allows you to adjust both handles so that they align up perfectly for you. The quiver is adjustable up and down as well as this handle. The darts come in a long and a small size. The small size just have a pointy point where the long sides have sharpened edges on both sides, more like broadheads. The darts come unassembled, so you need to put them together. Insert dart, fix eyes on target. 
I just uh, split a dart. I'd say this is one of the big downsides to this system is that you tend to end up poking holes in your plastic ends of the dart, which means you can't really use them because then a bunch of air is escaping when you blow this down the barrel. With my near a thousand shots, I think I've ruined about 10 or 15 of these. Now the good thing is it comes with a lot of darts, so you can shoot a ton into a target with a lot of practice without having to retrieve them. The downside to that is you're inevitably going to ruin some of these plastic pieces. I don't know if this will read, so I'm just going to do a normal poof of air, a normal blow, and then I'm going to see how fast I can actually make it go if we're getting good readings. Trying to figure out why my darts are going so slow. Oh, I tried to pick up the speed and we got a 101. 169. What? 88. Holy cow. 160. 93. 220. One thirteen. Seventy six. Two sixty six. <laughs> Gonna have to call Zach the big bad wolf. One thirteen. One oh four. This is the cold steel blow gun. And if I had to make a decision today, I would say this is. So like, I'm focusing you, way too much on accuracy, which probably hinders the accuracy because I'm like. Meh. I mean, I end up, I end up looking like a pregnant woman before I start. <laughs> He's totally getting it. Yeah. <laughs> Did you used to play like the trumpet or something? Uh, I played the oboe for seven years. There you go. Instrument, and I have done professional singing before. Really? One forty-two. Hey, getting better. <laughs> so like, that you don't sense. want slow volume. You want fast volume. But slow volume's easier to aim. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I know technique matters the most when it comes to how you're shooting this, how you're blowing air in order to project the dart. But the technique I don't have. I'm taking Zach's advice in order to see how fast I can shoot this. Because originally I thought it would be better to take it easy and to make sure the aim's good and do a nice slow breath. But what Zach's proven to me is a quick, punchy, all the volume of breath you can do at one split second is better than a slow breath because even the amount of jerk you might have is less than you're going to have in the arc of a slow dart. So is Zach shooting at twice the speed of me? His dart is flat where mine is arcing so much I'm having to aim way, way above the target. So I got to improve my speed because it's like I'm shooting a five pound bow and Zach is shooting a 60 pound bow. That's how much difference our trajectories are. Let's see if this can be learned. Let's see if I can learn going from 110 feet per second to who knows what. Now I need to practice. So I'm gonna do deep breath. I need to commit. I notice I've got air escaping on the sides here and all at once, no breath can escape. Okay, this is super weird, but I've noticed the fastest shots feel like it's coming from the gut, if that makes sense. Like the air is not coming from my cheeks. It's like this weird feeling in the throat coming from in here. And it's like you catch one and it's way, way faster than the other ones. You can feel it. You can hear a different sound. And then when it goes through the chronograph, you can see the numbers and you're like, wow. Oh. 139. It's like taking a quick break helps to regain your breath. It's technique more than like the, pr like the pressure, yes, but it's like how it goes through the tube instead of like how painful it is for you. Because I've had some that seemed really efficient and go much faster, and others where I felt like I blew as hard as possible and it was slow. <laughs> Whew. 
194. The technique, dude. Guys, the technique. What are the chances I could do that again? Yeah, let's, let's break 200. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, you can only do it once. Watch me. That's the voice in my head, by the way. So this could be silly, but I'm like Wim Hof breathing for three breaths and then bursting it. This dart has a crack in the plastic. Let's see how it flies. Definitely lost a lot of speed. Zach got up to 166 feet per second. I got to 137 feet per second. These things can go fast. Honestly, thanks to James for sending this to me. He said I would have a lot of fun with it, and you are right. Also, no affiliation with this company at all. If I ever am affiliated, I tell you guys. Uh, I do have links in the description to this product and everything on our archery business in the description. Click that more button if you want to support us and I'll continue supporting you by making these videos. Stay shatterproof. Oh yeah. Treasure, treasure, treasure.